common things uh, that I see in my day to day is shoulder mobility problems. So a healthy shoulder should be able to get into what is called flexion with my biceps right beside my ears without the use of my back and any pain or discomfort in my neck or between my shoulders. I should also be able to abduct, so bring my arms out and over my head comfortably with again my biceps right beside my ears. So if we're having a hard time being here, or even this is starting to hurt and so we're compensating by shrugging the shoulder, we're getting all this tightness, that's a telltale sign that we need help. So um, without lifting weight, because we don't want to add any more stress on the muscles around the shoulder and in the neck, uh, we just work on mobility. So the first thing to do is, or the first option is to get down to the ground and then I'll show you how to do this on the wall, okay? So I'm getting down to the ground. I'm gonna lie on my back with my arms out in the T, and I'm gonna bring one knee up to my chest and rotate my hips over to the ground as best I can. So if I can only get here, that's fine. I'm gonna hold on to this knee so that it doesn't move as I rotate my shoulder. I'm gonna come on my side, notice that my neck is moving with my spine, and I'm gonna come around my head. My ear is always staying beside my biceps, so my uh, spine is always in neutral. And I'm gonna keep coming around. And I'm just going to do five circles this way. And then also opening up cross body. So I call this uh, an open, open book. So you're just going to go right across your body, down to the ground. And again, if we can only get so far, that's fine. But the goal is to try and get that shoulder down to the ground. So with each exhale, you want to get a little bit further. Another one that's quite challenging is just opening up the pecs. They tend to get really tight and want to roll the shoulder in. So we want to sort of pull back from the shoulder and extend up and pull the elbow right down into a V. And again, just doing each one five times. And then of course switching on the other side. And I'll show you how to do one well. This is going to be a tight squeeze. You might be able to get me from there. Yep. Okay, so for those of us having trouble getting down to the ground, um, we can do this on the wall as well. So, again, a healthy shoulder would be getting right in close to the wall, but if we're having a really hard time, we can take a step out as needed. The goal here is to keep my shoulders and my hips square to the wall or window me and rotate the shoulder back and forward. So just a half circle again five times. And then as we gain a little bit more mobility and it starts to ache less and less, we come in closer to the wall and reach back. And we can do the same ones we did on the floor. So opening up. And rotating right back to the wall. Again, always letting your neck rotate with your spine. And then doing our forearm slides that we did on the ground. So really pushing your back down into the wall so that it's not helping with the shoulder reach. And doing your best to keep your forearm down to the wall. Again, if you can't get back here, it's fine. Come here. Just make sure that wherever you start and finish your exercise that you're feeling stretch without any pain. And as you gain more mobility, you can come closer to the wall. Again, retaining the flat back. And that's it. So three times a week, I would say, we should definitely see some